Hello students, in this video we shall discuss question number 8 of exercise 2.4. Factorize each of the following. There are 5 parts to this question. First one is 8a cubed plus b cubed plus 12a squared b plus 6ab squared. Now this is given in expanded form and we need to find the factors of this. So if you see here, this is the identity that we need to use a plus b the whole cube equals to a cube plus b cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared. This expanded form matches with this and we need to get this in this form, the factors. Okay. So first we will write 8a cubed as the whole cube. 8 is 2 into 2 into 2. So 2a the whole cubed plus b cubed is b cubed plus once you find a and b it, the rest of it you just need to fill up 3 a squared that means 2 a squared into b plus 3 a b squared that's it and then once we got a and b we will write it as 2 a plus b the whole cube a plus b cubed the same way we will write 2a plus b the whole cube or we can write it as 2a plus b just three times the same thing you have to write 2a plus b 2a plus b so this is the answer for the first one second one 8a cubed minus b cubed minus 12a squared b plus 6ab squared. If you observe carefully, same terms are being used. Same terms. Only there is a sign change. Minus, minus and here plus, plus. So the identity that we will use for this is a minus b the whole cube equals to a cubed minus b cubed minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared. So the same thing we will write here. 2a cubed minus b cubed minus 3 2a the whole squared b plus I'm just copying this from the previous question and have put a minus sign here and here that's it plus 3 2a b squared now we got our a and b so that equals to 2a minus b the whole cube or write it three times 2a minus b 2a minus b 2a minus b and that's it for the second one third one 27 minus 125a cubed minus 135a plus 225a squared so for this one we will use the identity of a minus b whole cube you need to write it for each of the problems. I am just solving it here. So solution 27 can be written as 3 cubed minus 125 is 5 into 5 into 5 is equals to 125. So 5a the whole cubed minus 3. A is 3. So a squared b plus 3 a b squared if you want you can multiply and check like for this one 3 into 3 is 9 9 3 is a 27 and 27 into 5 is 135 same way you can check for this one also all we need is a and b so that equals to 3 minus 5 a the whole cubed or equals to 3 minus 5 a 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a. Question number 4. 64a cubed minus 27b cubed minus 144a squared b plus 108b squared. So here we see two minus signs. That means we are going to use the identity of a minus b the whole cube. First you write the identity and then you solve it. I am simply solving it. 64 is 4 into 4 into 4 3 times 4a the whole cubed minus 
27 is 3 cubed. So 3 be the whole cubed minus 3 times. This is A here. So A squared B plus 3 A B squared. Okay. So we got the A and the B and we just need to write it now. 4A minus 3B the whole cubed or we can write it as 4A minus 3B into 4A minus 3B into 4A minus 3B. That's it. And this is the fifth and the last one. 27 is 3 into 3 into 3. So 3 P the whole cube. Please remember to write the formula A minus B whole cube formula minus 1 over 216 is 6 into 6 into 6 is 216. So 1 by 6 the whole cube minus 3 A is 3 P squared into B plus 3 a b squared 1 by 6 squared so we got a and b now so 3 p minus 1 by 6 the whole cubed or just write it 3 times 3 p minus 1 by 6 3 p minus 1 by 6 3 p minus 1 by 6 so these are the factors of this given polynomial. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.